All right, so I'm currently in the process of creating an AWS certificate because I want to use it with my website and I want to use it with Amazon. Now for AWS, the way that this works is that you can just go ahead to Certificate Manager and you can create a certificate for any website that you own. The domain can be in Route 53 in AWS, the domain can be in Squarespace, the domain can be in GoDaddy. It doesn't really matter as long as you are the admin and you can change the DNS settings. Now, I never did this before outside of AWS, I only yet ever did it within AWS. And the way that it works is that you basically create your domain name and certificate. So once you put your domain name, including the .com, as the certificate, what it does is that it'll then create a subdomain for your website. And if you have a subdomain, it basically means that it's part of your website, it exists, and that you yourself need to now go up to your DNS record to prove that you own it because if you can own it, you can change this. So I did this and I ran into some trouble and I'm about to unfortunately see that I made a mistake. What was this mistake? What AWS says to copy is the C name and the C name value. So for the value, I simply copied it and I pasted it as is there. And for the C name value, I also copied it and I also pasted it. But it looks like I was wrong to do this. And the reason why I was wrong to do this is because I copied the whole C name value that they provide, which is blah, 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 dot, dot, dot domain dot com. I think what I needed to copy, believe it or not, is the blah, blah, blah and not the rest. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, it'd be great if AWS documentation said that and I you know, didn't have to use 99 percent of my brain capability to realize that. Uh, the only reason I did realize that is because I'm using dig. Um, if you don't have Unix, uh, do a Ubuntu install into Windows because I'm, I'm not going to sit here and figure out Windows workarounds for dig. But <clears throat> basically, I was trying to see, you know, why is it that I can dig my domain? I can dig a subdomain but I'm not able to dig the other subdomain until I basically thought, hey, maybe the reason why I'm not able to dig that is because I have this, um, this entire thing as the name as opposed to just this prereq. So I put this as the host. I feel like this should work. So I put the host as blah, 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 35B. Wait a second. Okay. So that's actually wrong. How did I ever? Oh, it resolves. Cool. Um, so yeah, it didn't resolve in the past. I don't, I don't know when I delete that six, but it didn't resolve in the past. So there we go. It works. Um, so if you're doing this with AWS, You've got to realize you've got to not copy this entire C name thing. What you actually want to copy is this, that first GUID. That first GUID is what you're going to copy over to your DNS settings. You're going to place it as the host. After you place it as the host, you put the data and that should be fine. And, and DNS sometimes does take time to update, but you can also do this with a test. I did this with a test subdomain just to see if the C name was working. It is. So as you can see here, I did CNAME test. It worked fine. Same thing with the other. Let's check out AWS. It may or may not have validated. It will validate eventually because, as you can see, I can dig it. Uh, let's see. AWS did not validate yet. It should validate, though. It should validate because we are able to dig CNAME and then put the host, which is that. So I'm um, meant to do short, my bad. Flush short. So yeah, and as you can see, when we C name it, we see the value is this. And if we go here, that's that value. So yeah, whatever this AWS, um, whatever validation, whatever validation they do, I don't know if it's every 30 minutes, every four hours, whatever, um, it should work. But um, if you're doing this on your own, use dig C name to see if yours is resolving. If it doesn't resolve for you on the command line, then it is not going to resolve for the Amazon one. I know because I just spent two days waiting and it never did. Uh, so hopefully this was helpful and I'll check this out in a couple hours. And when it resolves in AWS, I can add it to this. All right. So I checked up on this an hour later and the uh, certificate is issued. It's there. We got it. 
We now have a valid SSL certificate. We can use this SSL certificate with our website. Specifically, I'm going to use it with CloudFront. So there we go. Uh, that is how you're able to do it with um, AWS Certificate Manager and your DNS uh, tool of using, whether it be Squarespace or Route 53 in AWS directly.